Hello fellow alchemists, welcome back to our Phoenix Live View series. It's been a while and version 0 0.12 has been out for some time. And But as you can see, we haven't actually covered it. And it's because we've been busy with several projects. We want to spend some more time on it before I got into it. And uh, yeah, finally I have a moment to finally cover Phoenix 0 0.12. And so what I'm going to do today is walk you through how to, of course, uh, install Phoenix 0 0.12, Phoenix Live View, that is, and also the differences. And I found an interesting difference that was not documented. I'm happy to show you guys that today. And so let's go ahead. Let's get started. Of course, the first step is always to bump our version in here. So at the current time, it is 0 0.12.1. There's a bug fix in there. We do our mix steps get. And it looks like it also bumps our Phoenix version, no problem. And now the next step is go into our assets. And if you guys can remember, npm install dash f, we want to force install the latest version of Phoenix Live View. Okay. Now, some of the differences uh, are more so in the testing interface, at least that what I have seen uh, when I go through and look at things. Um, and what I found that is quite interesting is when I go to actually look at one of my tests over here, so when I run this, it will actually break. Uh, for two reasons. One is that this is no longer need for matching, so we can remove the pin operator. So if I run this again. Now, this is an interesting one. This stop function was removed. Uh, I'm not too sure why it was removed. Um, but yeah, they removed it and I didn't see any docs about that. So what I'm doing now is I'm using process that uh, should be process.exit. So this is basically sending an exit signal to this process to die. And I'm gonna say it's normal. And you're gonna have to send this to the views dot pid okay so that's the actual process id so you're sending the pid an active signal a normal active signal which will kill the process so now when we run this you'll see everything's working fine and this is just something that needs to get fixed within uh you know the elixir itself but yeah other than that that's really the the biggest changes and of course the only other change uh there is a new way of testing now one of the things I also was feeling in my heart, but never really said outside, maybe because I love Phoenix Live View so much, is that when you test uh, Phoenix Live View, you're basically just sending the view this, um, this event. But there's no guarantee that on your HTML, you actually have an element with that uh, event actually on it. So they added in this interesting helper. So what you can do now is you can take your view, you pipe it into this element function, and then you can give it basically an HTML element. So in this case, I'm just going to give it the form. And for this one, I want to say that I will send the form element on the page, the validate user event uh, with these attributes. And when I run this, you'll see uh, it will break, which is interesting. So form the user. Uh, because we still need to pass in the, the view itself. Oh. Sorry. So what you actually need to do, this is my fault. So what you actually need to do is you don't even need to give it this event. So you just say that you want to render a change on the form object. You don't give it the name of the events. You let basically you let Elixir handle that all for you or the, the, the testing. And you see everything works fine. And you can actually check that because you can say, okay, instead of rendering a change, how about if I render a click? And you'll see that if you render a click on a form, it's not going to work. And it even tells you why. The element found by the form does not have a Phoenix click attribute. So that's really a really, really cool way you can verify that both your logic on your live view is working and also your HTML 
is there. And your HTML has the proper event set up and everything. So this is really truly kind of what I would say is end-to-end -end testing. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here is our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.